The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, we'll start the show like we usually do with the DAX index. As you can see on this daily chart, we did complete a Gartley sell signal uh, as of uh, Friday. Uh, I think the market, market's uh, not doing very much so far this morning. But if we take a look here at the uh, FTSE, you're going to see that we have the same type of pattern, only it's a little bit different because it's near, it's much weaker than the overall DAX index. Uh, I'll get to Bit, Bitcoin in just a minute, but I want to remind everybody that today we're going to have Bob Miner on at the break. And uh, Bob is uh, the uh, uh, discoverer of the Dynamic Trader. And then on tomorrow, we're going to have Dr. Al Larson the author of one of my favorite books, Your Electric Life, that talks about the moon. And he is uh, going to be on with his his company, is MoneyTide.com. I've known Al. Al and I are the same years. I've known him for, seems like, forever. He has double PhDs in electrical engineering and in computer science. So he's a one of the smartest people I have ever met, and he's very entertaining. So we'll have him on, too. And, of course, Bob is one of the premier uh, Elliott Wave guys around, so uh, that'll be great. He's going to have some information on gold, which happens to be uh, one of my uh, favorite setups coming here. The $64 question is, have, have we already made the bottom in gold, or are we going to go just a little bit lower? I'll put the chart up here for gold to take a look at it, because, you know, as you folks know, I really don't do Elliott Wave counting. I do just, you know, regular patterns and watch where the FIB numbers are. The wave count's never been, uh, uh, oh, Norm, you know what? I think he was. Yeah, you know what? You know, that's my fault. Let's get let, let's get Norm on. Tell him to call in. Tell, just a minute. He's on right now. Tell him to call in, and I, that's my bad. I, I, my, oh, boy. Man, I'll tell you. We had big parties here at the end of days nursing homes this week, so that's why I'm recovering from that. So we'll get Norm on the line here and talk about these aspects that we have going on. As soon as he comes on, just let me know when he's here, and we'll bring him in. One of the things, you know, he's got this big day coming in, but one of the things that I remember vividly. Norm, are you on the line? Uh, I'm here. That's a big 10 Hold on, my give fault. me a minute because I got uh, some conflict here on my Computer, I'll fix that. Take me about 30 seconds once I... Okay, I'll tell him back in 1989, November the 9th, on my newsletter for Astro Cycles, I said if this wasn't the biggest day uh, of the year and possibly of the decade, uh, I said I'll give everybody a free one-year subscription. And November 9th, the Berlin Wall came down and the... Uh, Market did absolutely nothing, so <laughs> be careful what you ask for, but we have some uh, big things going on in some of these markets. Let me know when you're ready, Norm. Okay, I'm ready now. Okay, go ahead. you want to tell us a little bit more about this uh, December 11th date that we've been talking yes, about I'll a little bit? I'll recap what I did uh, Friday, and uh, I got the uh, you know, sure. S&P chart over the weekend. I, put, I post those into your uh, uh, Skype account there, Larry. Okay, good. I'll put the chart up so the folks can see it, and then... Uh, Let's see. Let me get to uh, the, the, where I have those charts. Let's see. Where did it go? There we go. Okay. Oh, there we went away. Okay. I got the. Uh, oh, I got a screen share now. I forgot. We're kind of doing this impromptu, you know. So. Yep. Absolutely. Share screen share start. There we go. All right. We. Well, I was talking about uh, on my energy calendar there for the different markets. Yeah, there's. Uh, hopefully, you can see. Uh, I don't know if the folks can see that or not. I think I screen shared. I uh, got my calendar. I show a little piece of the calendar there with the stocks, and you can see the numbers. Uh, fourth was 60. Fifth was 22. Uh, sixth was 30. Seventh 30. It goes up to 78 on the eighth, and then over the weekend, boom. All-time record number 142. That's where we're at right now, yeah. you know, over the weekend and into the uh, sure. first few hours here today. 
and so and then and then the energy and then the numbers fall way off you know right off the cliff you know so uh, something something big could happen here and, and norm let me ask you a question what if it you know like i i did the same thing in november of 1989 i made this big thing and it was a big thing but the market did nothing what happens if the market does nothing during this time does it mean anything at all or uh, I mean, maybe one or two of the markets, like wheat, looks like it's ready to bottom, and possibly gold, and some of these others. But what if there's no really big deal, you know? Uh, and, ha and the second question that someone's asking is, how long of a time band do you have on this? Is it just one day, like That's between eleventh and twelfth? That's it. should work within a day, or it's wrong. That's it. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, we, That's all I mean. Stuff is not right all the time. <laughs> Yeah, Steve Rose is mentioning the big the big news might be the cryptocurrencies. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm just going to throw up here. I did this over the weekend. You got this, Larry, with my uh, update over the weekend. There's the 10-minute S&P chart. So you can see on the very short-term basis, there we're right on the bottom of a kind of a mini micro channel there. So, you know, you, you go much uh, below. Let's see, what is that, about uh, 35, yeah, 26, 35, then you – you got big trouble, you know. Yep. And uh, here's the bigger picture here. Here's your uh, S&P uh, daily on the bigger chart there, and you can see uh, I got still got the uh, my magic number. It was just above last Monday's high at uh, 2667. That's uh, four times the March 6, 2009 low of 666.79. Okay. And all let's right. see what else we have here. And let's see, I showed all my charts, I think. Unless you want me to pull up something else. Here's, no, that's uh, good. I just wanted to see where we were today. And uh, oh, we, we have, have a question. Bit, as you know, the futures rallied a little bit over over the weekend, Sunday night. I mean, last night, uh, not up much. I last looked, they were up about a buck or so. And, Very quiet, uh, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we have a question from one of our listeners. How is the uh, recovery in Naples going after Hurricane Irma? Uh, well, mostly in my neighborhood anyway, uh, you know, we had massive tree debris and it's, uh, most of that's all cleaned up now. Okay, so, great. It's, but it's chilly here now. It got down into the mid to low, to low forties overnight. I just, well, that is cool. I checked my thermometer before I came on here and it was like uh, high forties, you know, like 48 or so, you know. Well, that's better than uh, 18 degrees that they're having up in Connecticut. So, <laughs> right. Well, this will bounce that's back by tomorrow. It's supposed to be in the seventies again. So. Sure. Now, if the folks want to reach you, what's your telephone number? Right there, I got it. Hopefully, got it on the screen. If you check two three your, nine I, five nine four thirty nine thirty nine. Right out. There's and my email is uh, hopefully on the screen too. And Winsky at embarkmail dot com, and uh, you can reach me on Skype at n o r m dot w i n s k i norm dot Winsky. Norm, thanks for joining us, buddy. We really appreciate the impromptu, and I forgot. I wrote it down. It's on my uh, post-it right here in front of me, but I wasn't looking at the post-it, so it didn't count. So no thanks problem. for reminding me. I certainly thanks appreciate for, it. Thanks for having me on. Say hi to Bob. I know Bob back to the 80s. You know, so yeah, so do I. Yeah, I've known him before that, actually. All, All right. right, thanks a lot, buddy. We really appreciate it. Looking forward to helping you summer uh, some of the folks there. Call me right away and uh, get a hold of me right away. Happy holidays. Okay, thank you. Thanks, bye. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan 
Nugget's most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profile So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the opening in Bitcoin. This was the pre-opening before the CBOE contracts opened up, and uh, it was certainly different than what happened with the CBOE. Uh, this was the uh, chart that I brought out to the folks uh, uh, at the 20, at Fibonacci 24-7. You'll notice that uh, we were right at that 61% retracement, and if we went a little bit higher, we were looking for Bitcoin to probably get up to about the uh, 19,000 level, and uh, that's what we're we're still looking at that. Now we did. There's a huge divergence here, folks. What's going on in the markets? Let me just uh, quickly show you what happened. Here's the uh, here's the first. Here's the first opening in Bitcoin. You're going to be able to see what, and I'll try to explain it the best I can. And uh, I've talked to some of the people that are involved in it uh, in Chicago. But you notice that when we old it, when we first opened up in the Bitcoin futures, uh, they opened up about 10 percent, and it didn't it didn't trigger a halt. But you'll notice a few hours later, about two and a half hours later, it triggered a, a halt. Now these these futures, the Bitcoin futures, went above 18,000. I believe 18,400 in the futures, but the Bitcoin contracts themselves did not get any higher than 16,700. They didn't take out the old high at 17,400. The reason for that is the there was a spread between the Bitcoin futures and uh, you know the Bitcoin contracts themselves. And that could be due to the fact that the Bitcoin futures are a cash settlement. In other words, if you're buying a future, you don't get the Bitcoin. You just get the cash from the time you bought it to the time you get out. You don't have access to the Bitcoin. That's different than if you bought wheat and you wanted to get you wanted to take delivery of the wheat. You don't have that option when you're doing Bitcoin. So and not only yes, you're right, Marshall. It was relatively thin trading. I heard uh, David White's speaking to Tom this morning, and there was only about $50 million or something like that uh, done on the futures. And, and the reason why I'm going through all this, folks, I just want you to see how the market's going to trade 
with these numbers and patterns that we look at. You're going to see it. It really, uh, it's already done that. You can see by the charts that we posted in here uh, already that it will do that. And it's also, there's a possibility that this is, you know, something really new and different. You know, you hear all kinds of different things. And, uh, you know, one of them is going to be right. So let's just keep, uh, keep looking at it. I certainly don't recommend anybody trading with any serious money a thousand dollars or less would certainly be okay but other than that you know I would not uh, not pay you know, too much attention to it because it is wild uh, my good friend John Jameson told me that uh, he said it was ten hats please and I said what do you mean ten hats please he said in in World War one he said when these guys were in the foxholes getting ready to attack the, uh, the uh, sergeant would blow his whistle and he'd say, tin hats, please. And those were their helmets. They had to put their tin hats on. And then they had to go over the foxhole and charge. And if they didn't do that, they were shot on the spot as deserters. So uh, not very much of a choice there, but uh, that's the way it was. So it's tin hats, please time in the... Uh, in the Bitcoin, but it will it will settle down. It'll start trading probably normally, but the first day with lack the first day with lack of liquidity, well, we expect to see some really wild things. As we've shown here, there uh, that's Bitstamp, which is one of the uh, derivatives, but it's pr pretty much exact same price as Bitcoin, and uh, it does have a price objective of around um, nineteen thousand. Well, we're a heartbeat away. It's sixteen thousand seven hundred right now, so it could very easily make that. And reason reason why we're doing this, of course, is to just show you what we're looking at as far as where we where we think it'll go and what'll happen afterwards, because it might sometime down the road be a really beautiful Gartley buy pattern where it won't cost very much, and then the margin will go down. They want 60% margin on Bitcoin right now, folks, and they're dealing with uh, five Bitcoins, which are totally, say, say 15,000, so it's 75,000 bucks, so you got to put 40 grand up to trade uh, the Bitcoin. So this is not for the fool of heart. It is definitely 10 at time. And let's just let's just learn from it because it's something new. It could be one of the biggest things since the internet. And, uh, you know, but, hey, listen, you're, <laughs> you're listening to a guy who has uh, about the least uh, pocket protector guy in the whole world. I am not a techie, but from what I've glean from it little by little there must be something there for the price to go from pennies to 17,000 in a matter of four or five years uh, you know maybe there is something big here so it's certainly not tulip bulbs that's for sure well it might be the chart of tulip bulbs but you know tulip bulbs uh, is not the same as Bitcoin could possibly be because this is actual computer speed and you know, all that kind of stuff but anyway we'll keep a close eye on that uh, in, in about seven more minutes we're going to have Bob Miner from the uh, uh, dynamic trader on to talk to us about some things and one of them is gold I already posted the chart for gold I still believe we got a chance to make one more low down there at that 12 uh, 42 level. We've been to 12.44 and a half, and uh, we'll see if it's going to be uh, what if it's going to be going. And that's it. Yes, the contract for the CBO is see is five bitcoins. So, and if you figure bitcoins, fifteen thousand, you look about seventy-five thousand bucks, and sixty percent of that is around forty some grand. So that's what the it's not for the faint of heart, you know. It's almost like you know the DAX. You've got you know twenty-two thousand dollars euros to trade the DAX if you're trading the big contract. All right, let's take a look at uh, the XAU because this is another one that we're following very, very closely. Uh, I'll put this up. Uh, I, I think we still got a chance for the XAU to come down and make a double bottom at this point, but we're getting very, very close in all of these folks. If this were, if this were Christmas Day, if this were two weeks out, uh, I would buy gold right now. And the only reason I'm not buying it is because it has such a strong cyclical pattern to bottom right after Christmas. And uh, I mean, really strong. I mean, it's uh, in the neighborhood of about 85%. I think our good friend uh, Bill Meridian already you know, brought that to our attention, as, di as did our good friend Larry Williams, telling us that that's a very, very strong seasonal that has been operating. Uh, well, the last three years, it's been, you know, flat out, spot on. But we're seeing the same thing in silver. Silver's holding right up at the 78% level. And also the, the platinum, let's just get the platinum up so you can see. We're now down uh, near a, 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 a huge ABCD uh, in platinum. This is... Uh, like Twentyman says, do the work yourself. If you look at platinum here over the last year, you can see that big ABCD pattern. I've highlighted it in black, 
And, uh, you know, that's really comes down about another eight, about 10 more, 10, 12 more dollars. That's going to be spot on at a 1.618 level and a 1.27 level going back a year. And that's, well, it's down $17. So, well, yeah, between 12 and $17 from where it is. So maybe this is one of the things that this astro thing that um, Norm is looking at is, uh, you know, maybe that's what's doing it. I don't know, but keep an eye on that gold and silver, folks. I I really think that's got that that's really got a chance because those patterns look uh, really good. The cycles are there. I I don't know. It just looks really interesting to see, you know, what we're going to do. Someone's asked a question about Bitcoin versus the dot com. Ah, Bitcoin is bigger than the dot com, folks. I mean, uh, the Bitcoin has gone up so much. The dot com was a once in a generation thing, but this uh, Bitcoin is once in a century probably. But I I really don't know. And believe me, that's the understatement of the year. But uh, it's big. You know, if the, if the CME and the CBOE and the NASDAQ are looking at it, they don't do that without good reason. That that much I know. Stay tuned for Bob Miner of the Dynamic Trader, 877-927-6648. Tomorrow, Al Larson of Money Tide. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have the premier Elliott Wave technician that I know, and I know quite a few of them. 
Bob Miner on the line. Bob, are you there? I'm here. Hey, happy holidays to you, my friend. Bob used to be my neighbor until he moved up to the cold winter of Colorado. Bob, we don't have a lot of time. We've got about 20 minutes, and you've got some great things. I think we'll start out with this weekly chart on the E-mini. You want to start with that one? Okay. I've got it in front. Uh, just a second. Let me make sure I got it in front of me. Are you going to be showing that on your screen? Yes, yes. Everybody, everybody can see it, and uh, there we go. that's not okay. a problem. Good. What do you want to know? Uh, up or down? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, uh, probably up for a little bit, then down, then back up. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I want to give you the official guru answer, which is Good. totally ambigu ambiguous. Uh, no, what I'm looking at, and I, I try to do charts and put little comments on them so that when someone looks at the chart, they know exactly what they're looking at. And what I'm thinking about is that uh, we're within a, a time range, a fairly narrow time range, and dual look back momentum set up to complete a weekly high within the next week or two. Um, how important that high will be, whether it be more than just a weekly high. And when I say weekly high, I mean a high that lasts from three to five weeks. That could morph into something a little bit more, but the immediate upside should be quite limited before we make a, well, let's call it a trade, tradable high. Okay, so you think that we could be under a, just a little bit of a choppiness uh, with more more to come in early of, uh, January? Well, any time between kind of the middle part of December, uh, as we know, there's there's pretty reliable, they call it the Christ, Christmas rally, that a few days before Christmas, the market tends to be up, not necessarily to a new high or uh, could be a corrective high. But I think after then we'll be, oh, let's say at least three to five weeks sideways to down. The minimum I'd anticipate is a corrective decline of three to five weeks. And you can see that one horizontal line I have in there is at 25, 76, 25. That's the December contract. So it'd be whatever is comparable on the March contract or the cash. Um, and unless we make a weekly close below that, it should just be a three to five week correction. If it makes a weekly close below that, uh, it might be something a little bit bigger, something that'll last even a few months. Sure. Uh, now, the next one that we uh, would like to talk about, everybody has an interest in, and this is the uh, U.S. dollar index. I'll bring this chart up so we can look at it. And uh, th this is this certainly has our interest because we're, we're watching this all the time through the euro. So fire away. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, this is uh, interesting. This is a monthly chart that goes back to 2008. And I, I put the, this longer-term monthly chart up uh, so we can get a, a, a longer-term perspective as, as to where we're at with the dollar, at least as, from how I'm looking at it. And the most important kind of takeaway uh, from this chart is the January of this year, January 2017 high. Uh, and that's a pretty significant high that's likely to last for a year and a half to two years, if not more. Um, we can look back here, and this is, uh, for those who might be familiar with Elliott Wave, the way I'm looking at this is we had, from the 2008 low, we had this very significant advance that lasted about a year, and then we're almost a little over two years, essentially sideways, before we began the next big run into January 2017. So this uh, 2000, uh, January 2017 high is comparable to um, the March 2015, July 2012, March 2009 high, which is likely to have the market sideways to down for up to two years. And of course, we're just in the beginning stages of that. So any advance should be a correction prior to continuing sideways to down. So that's that's kind of important, not for a short-term trader. It's certainly important for someone that has to make um, a decision uh, that is related to the dollar value over the next couple of years. Yeah, you know, like taking flights and things like that. And then this would mean that the euro is going to go a great deal higher. We're trading at around one uh, 117 and change right now. So uh, you'd be expecting the euro to probably get up to that uh, 130 or 135 level, possibly. Um, th the way I would phrase it is that not necessarily where the euro go a great deal higher, but it's it's not going to go any lower. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, or there's that makes, probably not. That makes yeah, it's, it'll definitely, the euro would, of course, be the inverse of the dollar. The euro should be sideways to up 
over uh, the next, you know, probably year and a half to two years. Um, but as we can see, as the, the euro is the inverse of the dollars, we can see what we can call these corrections. They're all nice ABCs, we can see since uh -huh. 2008. Uh, once the initial low was made is that the market was then essentially, uh, you know, kind of sideways to mildly down into what we call the wave C low. So, um, frankly, on the, the euro and the dollar, we're probably near... And the, and the dollar probably near a low that's going to last for quite some time, but any any rallies should not take out the January 2017 high. It's more like a trading range. Okay. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at, Bob, are the uh, Treasury bonds and Treasury notes. I'd like you to tell the folks what you see here. Uh, well, boy, they've really been in a long uh, trading range, haven't they? Yeah, they've been something good to sleep through for a while. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, but what's, and here's the takeaway from here. I think it's pretty important, and frankly, probably you don't have to be a technical genius or fundamental genius to um, surmise that more than likely we've hit a low in interest rates that's going to last for many, many years. Uh, what's, and and uh, that would be high in bonds. But what's really important here, I think, is. Again, back in September 2017, just a few months ago, is this has probably completed a corrective rally in bonds. I got labeled there as an ABC correction. Sure. And uh, which, which would mean that the trend in bonds and notes would be net bearish for not just many months, but probably three to five years, a long time. So I think we'd all be aware of that. Uh, just through any other kind of news or fundamentals or whatever. What is important, I think, is right now, literally as of last week, uh, down in that uh, indicator window below, that's called a dual look-back momentum bearish reversal. And they're very, uh, using my DT oscillator, and they're very reliable to indicate that whichever time frame you're looking at, you've made a reversal. So more than likely, uh, bonds have made that dual look-back bear reversal and uh, number one, it means the upside would be very, very limited before a weekly decline began. And um, the next decline it would, should take out the October low. So given that we have a Fed announcement on Wednesday, and I don't have the chart that has all the daily targets that are uh, also falling around in the middle of the week, is uh, I would think after this week, more than likely, we'll see bonds continue to decline. Sure. They've been in a 32-year bull market, so they're ready to have some type of a correction for sure. Uh, Bob, for sure. How, much, yeah. how much weight do you take with these meetings that they have? Uh, do you, do you uh, look at that into your, your trading scenario? Do you wait after the 13th, or what is it that you're waiting for from the FOMC? Just confirmation just of some kind? Yeah, I want to be aware of it, and, and no, there's not any like big trend reversals that happen or, or significant changes that occur around those meetings, but there is some volatility, and typically, if you go back and you just look at 10 years or five years of when these charts are, typically there's a reversal within three days of the meeting. Okay, we're going to pay a few bills, and we'll be back with Bob Miner from The Dynamic Trader, 877-927-6648. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, Trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Bob Miner from the Dynamic Trader. Uh, Bob, uh, you've got the chart up for – I've got the chart up for the Gold Weekly, and uh, this is one of the things that, you know, our group is looking at very, very closely. We've been bearish uh, gold and silver for quite some time, but we realize this uh, seasonal that we have, and you're talking about it here in December, is very important. Why don't you tell us what you see from an Elliott Wave prospectus? Well, I, I really – I don't – see any real clear pattern from Elliott Wave. Here's what I do see, uh, at least from the very immediate term, is there is a potential that uh, coming off that September high is an ABC correction. How that fits in with the higher time frame, I'm not sure, although I think I think we began in December 2015, a major bull run that still has a ways to go. But I want the market to prove that out to me. So looking at it from a trading perspective is, as you mentioned earlier, is uh, December is the anniversary of the 2015-2016 lows, which were a very significant low. So we're right in what should be the maximum time target to complete a low. And whether it's complete above the July low or not, that's going to be a real key. I've got two time factors on this chart. I do some kind of uh, un unusual timing that most other people don't use. But this is a couple simple time factors of the 100% alternate time projection of the initial decline is the week ending December 29th. And then just a simple low to low week ending December 29th. So that coincides with this. Uh, a time period in December to complete a significant low. And then we were bearish on the weekly momentums, uh, made a bear reversal last week that usually indicates there's one to two weeks of follow through sideways to down. So it's all coming together the second half of, of December. But boy, that the reversal has to occur above the July 14th low or we've broken any kind of bullish pattern. But I think it will be above the July low. Okay. Now, do you do you follow? I know you don't have a chart for silver, but do you do you look at silver very often? It's a lot thinner than gold, and sometimes yeah. it's a little a little crazy. But do you have the same feeling on silver? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And and I look at silver every week in my uh, report, the video report and printed report. Um, but they're pretty much in lockstep. Of course, silver's been as far as their reversal. Silver's been relatively weaker than gold, <laughs> but they'll both make their reversals at the same time. That's where I really focus on timing and which which of the markets has the best pattern to pinpoint that reversal, because they're both going to uh, reverse at the same time together. 
Okay, what we'll do now is we'll take a look at the uh, crude oil, if you don't mind. And sure. And then we'll go right ahead. We've got that up so you can uh, discuss it. Well, crude's, crude's real interesting. Crude has a very clear um, Elliott type of pattern, both into the June, <clears throat> excuse me, the June low, that ABCDE correction, and uh, coming off of the June low is more than likely. We're just in the initial stages of a major bull run, uh, and partly taking out that January 2016 high. That's a, that was a really bullish. Um, uh, reversal conf confirmation signal but for immediately we've probably just completed a weekly high that's going to last for another two to three weeks uh, into late December to mid-January and if it, if that's the case and if we see crude into late December to mid-January down to around let's just say 54 down to about 5230 that should be the extremes on the downside before it begins another multi-month run up. So it's it's not in a position to immediately purchase, but two two important factors is one probable major bear our bull market has begun you know several months ago, and number two is that when this immediate corrective decline is complete, it'll be a great opportunity on the long side, and it should be complete by the middle of January. Okay, that sounds really good. Now, I wanted to ask you uh, another uh, couple quick things. Is is Jamie, your son, still trading uh, the currencies? He is. Yes. Well, that's good. That's great. Bob, uh, how would the folks uh, uh, get in touch with you to get a sample uh, of your newsletter? Because you have probably, well, you do have the best, uh, as far as I've seen, in Elliott Wave with your dynamic trader. So is there a way that they could uh, get a sample copy of the newsletter? They can go to dynamictraders.com forward slash DT reports seven. And okay. uh, we have a, a really steel deal. It's not linked on the website, but you, for a, get an entire, entire month of the newsletter for $7, any one of the newsletters of your choice. Uh, Seven dollars, or any way you could get us a price break on that? I'm joking, Bob. I'm joking. Well, we'll give you a ten percent <laughs> discount if you say you you you, will, you, you know Larry Pesavanto. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> ten percent more. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I have one other question from a uh, technical standpoint, and that is the uh, this move that we've had in some of these uh, these stocks. Uh, you know, like Apple and Amazon and things like that. Have you have you looked at that as far as uh, historical uh, moves or of any kind? I haven't. I, okay. I, I focus almost all of my attention on the indexes and primarily the S and P because it's uh, a broad index and represents the the major trends. But individual stocks, um, I look at just for in our, our stock and ETF report, but I don't look at them closely enough to answer you. Okay. Um, the other question that we're, that someone's asking in the room here, what would be a, an indication that the gold would have bottomed, it could bottom earlier before, you know, right after Christmas? Is there anything you mm -hmm. would be looking for that would say, uh oh, it started early? You know, because you always have that wanting to get in the market and everybody doesn't have the patience that you have. So what are you looking for just in case it would bottom early? Well, number one is get some patience or, or <laughs> lose some money. <laughs> so, but the first thing I look at is on the, the gold chart that I showed you earlier is when that weekly momentum makes a bull reversal because it's quite – with the DT oscillator, that's quite reliable that uh, the weekly low is complete. And then I'd go down to the shorter time frame, the daily and 240-minute data for an actual entry strategy. Of course, we do that. <clears throat> we do that in our DT reports. But I would, you know, I would wait till a firm signal. And first is the uh, bullish uh, momentum reversal on the weekly data, and then we'll go down to the smaller frame time frame to identify a specific entry strategy. Okay, we've got a couple of questions here. One is, what do you usually risk on an oil trade, and what do you usually risk on a gold trade? The dollar amounts. That, see, I can't answer that question because it depends on, um, yeah, on the, volatility. the entry strategy yeah. and the volatility and then uh, just the, the position size. So, oh. you know, 
let's just say that we're risking, you know, I don't know, 2% of the account. I, I shouldn't say I don't know. That would be a maximum anyway on a particular campaign is that, you know, you figure out from your account size 2% of that, and then you back in how many uh, uh, okay. contracts or how large a position you'd take. So if you got a $40,000 account, 2% of that would be roughly 800 bucks. So you'd be able to trade for eight dollars, uh, an eight dollar stop in gold. Yeah, and and hopefully, yeah. if if you know you have the three time frames lined up, weekly, daily, two hundred forty minute, is you're going to have uh, easily be able to have a stop less than that. That well, would be that's great. Then you can have more than one contract. Or you, you know, good. I always tell people, just do ETFs. <laughs> you know? yeah. It's like you don't have to do highly leveraged futures because everything sure. that you can trade, just about, you can trade an ETF. And, uh, uh, That's trade a very good idea. Hey, Liz, yeah. thanks for joining us, my friend. We'll have you on again uh, right after the first of the year. Fantastic. Talk to you then, okay. and we'll see okay. how everything I said is correct. It will be. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Miner of the Dynamic Trader up in cold Denver, Colorado. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we're going to finish up the show. I have to tell a funny story about uh, Bob. Uh, of course, Bob's a very close friend. We've known each other for 
for a while, long, long time. But uh, he was living in Tucson, and I was in Pismo Beach uh, at the trading house there. And Bryce Gilmore would come out from Australia and stay there for three, two, three months, sometimes longer, uh, at the trading house. And whenever he did, Bob would come over uh, and visit, uh, as a lot of people did. But uh, they got into a big argument one day. They were saying who could drink the most. And, uh, of course, you don't want to do that with someone from Australia. So they made a little bet. I think it was about 20 bucks who could drink the first person under the table. And Bob only lasted about 30 minutes. He doesn't drink much at all. <laughs> but we joked about it for a long time. And uh, it was fun. But anyway, he does a great job with Elliott Wave. He, he does a terrific job. Uh, presentation if you ever get a chance to see him and uh it's uh, he does a great job okay let's move on to uh, the other markets to pay attention to we've talked to norm winsky today about this potential of this day being very very big whether it is or not we've got 24 hours to look at it so we'll see what's uh what's on and of course if it doesn't work we will miss norm uh, a lot because uh if he's wrong then we won't be able to have him on the show anymore of course if i did that there would not be any guests Anyway, we'll watch some of these markets closely. Remember, Bob Miner is still looking for lower bond and note prices. We are certainly looking at that. Pay attention to the goal, folks. We're getting close. Let's just hope we get down one more time. I would love to see it below uh, 1220 sometime after Christmas. I think that would be the best Christmas present we could ask for. And, folks, that's not very far away. That's $26. We could be there before I'm done speaking. So let's play a uh, – let's – play very, very close attention uh, to that. By the way, regarding uh, drinking, boy, you should never drink 24 hours before you uh, you know, before you trade. I mean, a glass of wine or two is okay, but don't do anything where it's going to affect your uh, you know, your, <laughs> your attention because that's not very smart. 877-927-6648 877-927-6648 folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today.